I loved a man who is now dead in such a profound way, and he me, that yes, I believe the Spirit of God was with us when we made love. Was it always or was it always a religious about God. was it always a religious experience? Not always. That's but God. were there times when it when it transcended? What? I hope, gosh, I hope for all well, of you and for you, Pastor, I hope for you. You was under the anointing? It yeah, absolutely. My Lord. Absolutely. Absolutely. What did you as, get from God? <laughs> Just a minute. Just a minute. What did you get from God Almighty? Because when you're saying that you was anointed when you was doing this, you're saying God sanctioned it. Right. What did you get from God when you lay with a man? The gift of mutual love and care that was... Oh, you that got was fleshy satisfaction. You don't know that, Brother Pastor. You just simply cannot say that about me. I can me. say that about this book. I can, we're talking about about me at this point now. And don't and please be please be careful. Please you, be careful. You can tell you. I'm telling you. You cannot that you say were about anointed me. Anointed by God when you were laying with a man. I have been. All you got to do is show me someone in here that was now every, like you were. Every time. No, I'm okay, telling you about just my experience. One time. Please stop interrupting me. Please stop interrupting me. This is so fundamentally important. I'm talking about a relationship that was as important to me as your relationship with Sister Jennings. And this is, this is fundamental. So we're talking about a commandment I, that God allow here, Harry. What, what I experienced with him was so much beyond the norm of the way people treat each other selfishly, People usually treat each other selfishly in this world. He didn't treat me selfishly. He treated me the way God treats me. He treated me the way God treats me by, by reaching out to me in love and care and mutual concern. Concern that was all about me and not about his needs. And I reached out to him in the same way. Didn't happen every time. Would that it were. Would that I were that good. Uh, a husband, a, a, a partner, would that I were. But when it was wonderful and right, it was exactly that. Spirit it was a, it was a spiritual Spirit connection. Spirit of God was in it. Absolutely. Second Peter, let's see what the God. Bible says. Second Peter chapter two will begin at verse six. Yes. Sir. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. Turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. Condemned them with an overthrow. Condemned them. With an overthrow. Making them an example. Making them an example. Unto those. Unto those. That after should live ungodly. After should live ungodly. And deliver just lot. Deliver just lot. Vexed. Vexed. With the filthy conversation of the wicked. What you have with me now is a filthy conversation. You going to blame God and say that he got you involved with the anointing to lay with the man. And then he going to tell us that it's wrong for man to lay with man by scriptural text. Well, that, that, text is so. that text doesn't say that Sodom was destroyed because of homosexuality. It just doesn't. It tells and them the, that Lot was vexed. For that righteous man. That righteous man. Dwelling among them. Dwelling among them. And seeing and hearing. Seeing and hearing. Vexed his righteous soul. Vexed his righteous soul. From day to day. By with, what? With their unlawful deeds. Their unlawful deeds. And their deeds were unlawful. To, hu to humiliate another person. To humiliate another person in any way. Were they, pen they wanted to penetrate a man, correct? Uh, they, they did. They wanted to 